Hey friends, if you'd like to know more about the products, treatments, and remedies that help clear my hyperpigmentation in under two months, stay tuned. So this video is a very vulnerable video for me because I'm sharing with you guys one of my biggest battles and insecurities and that is my chest and back acne. So it happens to me seasonally, it happens to me depending on diet, weight loss, weight gain and stress. So this footage is from January 2019. And this footage is from March 2019. And so within two months, I've been able to do some at-home remedies as well as using some topical products that I purchased in store and over the counter. And I know I'm not the only person that deals with this. So I hope this video is helpful for you guys. If you find it helpful, be sure to thumbs it up. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. And I know before anybody's like, it's filters and it's Photoshop, here are the receipts. January 2nd is the first video. And then this was shot yesterday, March 25th. So let's first start with the at-home remedy that has been super helpful for my acne hyperpigmentation and that's my coffee sugar scrub. So scrubs help to gently exfoliate, heal acne, and reveal new skin through the regeneration of new cells. So coffee increases the blood flow, it reduces dark marks and cellulite, while sugar exfoliates and it removes dead skin cells to provide new glowing skin. I don't do specific measurements, I just do a few scoops of coffee grounds. You definitely want to use coffee grounds and not instant coffee because you don't want to disintegrate and brown sugar and then and I just mix it together. So I like to use this olive oil blend that's a mix of canola and grapeseed oil, which is going to help to mimic the skin sebum, leaving the barrier smooth and soft. It's full of antioxidants that's going to help to fight against environmental damage, high in vitamin C, which helps to fight against acne, lower the aging process. It prevents spots, blemishes, wrinkles, protects against free radicals. It helps to fade scars, helps to produce collagen, and it's going to help to speed up the healing process and it decreases against the formation of keloids with your acne. I like to mix my batch with a plastic spoon to keep it nice and sterile, but look at that consistency, that texture, nice and thick. Now for the controversial ingredient, which is lemon juice. In this case, lemon juice acts as an antibacterial astringent that can treat acne, brighten skin, and fade spots, but I only add it in the mix that I do for my body and not the one for my face because your face's epidermis layer is pretty thin and lemon juice can be harsh and drying. So this is what the consistency should look like when it's all said and done. We're now going to get into the portion of the video where I'm going to show you the topical products that I use after my coffee scrub. Quick disclaimer, none of the products in this video are sponsored. While I'm a licensed cosmetologist, I'm not a licensed esthetician. So while I've seen results with these products, I cannot guarantee that they will work for you. Even though I've done extensive research, I'm not above reproach, but I just ask that in the comment section, we can keep it nice, light, loving, and positive so that we can maintain a healthy educational dialogue for everyone that watches. We're first going to start with the Koji Sand Skin Lightening Soap. The Kojic acid prevents the formation of tyrosine, which is an amino acid that produces melanin. Because it inhibits melanin, it creates a lightening effect. So it'll lighten against sun damage, age spots, and scars. It also helps to fight against bacterial strains that cause acne and bacterial infections. Because it is a skin lightening soap and my black is beautiful and I love my melanin, I only use it on areas where I have blemishes and areas of stretch marks. The next thing that's been really helpful for me is derma rolling, which is also known as microneedling. And so this creates tiny invisible puncture wounds on the top layer of my skin, but it's minimally invasive. So it stimulates the body's wound healing process, resulting in cell turnover. It helps increase your collagen, the visibility of acne scarring. It improves product absorption, reduces fine lines, wrinkles, loose skin, pore size, stretch marks, and pigmentation. And I do this about once a week. You never want to share your derma roller. You want to make sure that you do proper sanitation before and after, and you want to discard it every three weeks. The next thing is a topical cream. It's Natty Nola Discoloration Fade Cream. So I used to use Ambi, but it's not working for me. So I wanted to try something else, and I really like this product. So it helps to fade dark marks. It contains emollients and sunscreen to help the spots from reoccurring. And it has hydroquinone. And hydroquinone reduces pigmentation and discoloration. It has citric acid and alpha hydroxy, which helps to brighten the skin and it gives mild exfoliation. So the next product that I really love is my vitamin C serum by Advanced Clinicals. So this helps to boost collagen and production for firmer skin. It fights free radicals and damage caused by UV rays. It helps with anti-aging, reduces uneven tones and dark spots. But because it has alpha hydroxy, you always want to use sunscreen with it because it increases sensitivity to light. It does help to fight redness and inflammation from acne and rosacea. But because of the alpha hydroxy, I only use this product at nighttime. I typically don't use it if I'm going outside. 
So another favorite product that I've been using by Advanced Clinicals is the Retinol Serum. So it's a nourishing aloe vera and green tea serum that reverses sun damage, aging, it evens my skin color, it improves the texture, tightens pores, and stimulates blood flow. So I use this product if I am going outside. I usually use sunscreen over top of it. I do like it because it's not a sticky formula and it's pretty affordable. This one and the Vitamin C Serum, I think I got them for like $6. So I use Vitamin C at night and I use the Retinol during the day. So the last product that I use from Advanced Clinicals is the Collagen Oil. So this helps to reverse skin aging, reduces cellulite, it helps to heal stretch marks and acne. It heals against inflammatory skin, it reduces pain and severity of flare-ups, and it also helps with wound healing to help restore damage and tissue. I use this on my face as well as my thighs. One of the biggest misconceptions amongst melanated people is you know our black don't crack, but that black will crack if you don't take care of it. And especially if you're gonna be using topical creams to help with your dark spot to hyperpigmentation, you don't wanna reverse all the work that you've put in. So my favorite sunscreen happens to be from Trader Joe's, so it's super inexpensive, it helps to protect against UVA radiation, which causes sun damage and spots. It's also comedogenic, so it won't clog your pores. It's fragrance-free, it's oil-free, so it's perfect for sensitive skin. It's rich in vitamin C and vitamin E, so it's Going to help to reduce the appearance of scars and it does not leave a white cast residue so we've exfoliated we cleanse the skin we micro needle we put on our topical creams and our serums so now we're ready to seal everything and i like to use 100 percent african shea butter so shea butter has anti-inflammatory properties that protects against again sun damage it has vitamin a and e so it restores elasticity it reduces razor bumps it prevents against stretch marks it improves collagen it's a natural emollient so it helps to lighten your marks and it also helps with the appearance of redness that comes with acne and it helps to fade your scars over time. One of my other favorite shea butters is by the black owned beauty brand Oyen Handmade, which is also based in Baltimore. And y'all know that's my hometown, so I gotta support. What I love about their whipped shea is not only the consistency, but I love the fact that it melts down like an oil and it comes in three scents. So I love the unscented version because it's really good for people that have skin allergies or people that are really sensitive to fragrance. And what I also love is that it's 75% unrefined shea butter, so you're getting the goodness and not a lot of fillers. Last product that has really been helpful for me is Oyen Handmaid's Belly Bar and I use that as a spot treatment so I can use it on my dark marks, I can use it on my stretch marks, I use it on my thighs, I use it on my legs or any blemishes and the best part about it is that it stick forms. So I really like this product on the go as opposed to a shea butter that can typically be like a little greasy. I hope you found this video helpful. I hope you can try some of the products that you've seen in this video. Nothing is a miracle worker, nothing is going to work overnight but if you're consistent with a stable routine you will see results. I saw results with these products within two months time and if you got some products that you know is the bomb share them below because we all trying to be fine this summer okay and i'll see you guys in my next video bye